Hi guys, Jay Hatch here, sales consultant at Whippy Mazda, and today I'm gonna to show you how you set up your phone with the Bluetooth on your Mazda Connect system. Zoom, zoom. Okay guys, so this is the Mazda Connect screen. As long as you've got this screen in your Mazda, then setting it up would be the exact same way that I'm showing you, regardless of which Mazda you're in. Um, so what we're gonna do is if you click on the communication uh, tab, it says, do you want to connect a phone now because there's no phone currently connected? Um, if you don't have anything connected, that's the easy way to do it the first time. But if you do, I'm going to click no on here. I'm going to show you, we're going to go back here. This is how you would connect um, several devices. So you can go over to the settings. There's different ways to do the same thing. This is the long way around, but just so you know that this is the way that you can um, set something up. You click on, click on Bluetooth, and then we're going to go to add new device. And now it's searching for a, um, a Bluetooth device. So I've got a Samsung Android phone here. I'm going to get to the settings. If you've got an iPhone, same idea. I'm gonna click on connections. And now Bluetooth is off, I can turn that on, but I'm gonna hold this down just for one, two seconds. And now I'm gonna go from this screen, the Bluetooth screen, I'm gonna turn my Bluetooth on. And already I can see it's scanning. So the Mazda scanning for my Bluetooth device my Samsung scanning for anything else out there. It's gonna, I have to wait for the Mazda to show up. There it is, it says Mazda right there. So I'm gonna tap on Mazda, it's pairing. And now on the screen, it says my code 137329, make sure 137329, yep, hit okay on here. If you're in a dealership, all kinds of people are pairing um, phones all over the place, you wanna make sure you get the right one. Uh, so I'm gonna hit yes on the Mazda. And it is connecting, it's connecting, and there we go. Galaxy S6 is now connected. Now, allow access to contacts and phone log. I'm gonna hit allow on here, and that means every time I get into the Mazda, it's gonna update my, um, my phone book if I've added new contacts. Allow access to messages, I'm gonna click allow on there, and that way I'm able to receive text messages, show up as notifications on the screen while I'm driving, and I can actually reply to them as well. I've got another video where you can see how to do that and some tips and tricks on that. And already you can see it's importing contacts from the phone book. Um, if this little no notification wasn't here, you would see that it already shows the battery strength and signal strength for my Bluetooth device, my phone right there. Um, as soon as that goes away, you'll see that, but that shows up instantly, which I think is kind of cool. So if we go import success, cool, it's exactly what you want to see. And, and there you go, battery strength, signal strength shows right there. So. I can click on this and I can choose now if I wanna use this device for phone and audio, just phone or just audio. This is kinda of handy if you've got a couple of uh, devices paired and one of them, um, say you've got your phone but you've also got uh, an iPod and you just wanna stream music from your iPod, not from your phone, your phone's just for talking to people. You can do things like that and obviously we can go down here and we can unpair the device if we don't want it on here anymore. And so that is how you connect it. Now, if this was an iPhone, one thing I want to point out for iPhone users, you see here it says Mazda, my list of paired devices. With an iPhone, you'd have a little I there with a circle around it. And I would hit on that I. And with an iPhone, it says allow notifications. You want to make sure you turn that on because if you don't, uh, your iPhone will not be able to connect with the device for text messages. And that's important. You won't get the notifications come through your phone that allow you to say yes uh, to do the text messages. I've had somebody before where they had no idea that they could send texts back and forth um, in the, in the uh, Mazda. Um, but uh, now they know. Anyways, that's how you do it. I hope you enjoy it. You can have several phones paired via Bluetooth on here. You can only have one paired for making phone calls at a time. And any questions, give me a shout. Let me know. I'm happy to help. Thanks, guys. Let's go!